Okay, we want to do our last bit of discussion for colligative properties. So this time we want to look at boiling point elevation. What does boiling point elevation mean? Well, boiling point elevation is like it sounds. So the boiling point is being elevated above the boiling point of that pure substance. So we could take pure water, for instance, and we know that water boils at 100 degrees Celsius. And when we add a solute to it, we are, we are polluting... Okay, we are adding impurities into that pure water, so therefore it no longer will boil at 100 degrees Celsius. That temperature will be adjusted to fit the needs of the two materials that are now mixed together. So a very common thing um, that you are already doing inadvertently at home with boiling point elevation is cooking pasta. So some of the most common techniques are you take your water and then you add some salt to it and then sometimes people add a little bit of oil and then we turn that on high and then we wait for that water to boil. Why do we add salt in the oil? Well the salt is added a lot of times for flavoring the pasta as it cooks um, and oil is added to help um, prevent the noodles from sticking together after the boiling process once you rinse the water off. But another thing that is most commonly thought is, is that we add the salt so that we can um, make the water hotter, okay? And essentially you are, because what you're doing is when you add the salt into the water, it no longer will boil at 100 degrees Celsius. It's going to take longer to reach the boiling point because the boiling point will now be above 100 degrees Celsius, okay? So you're actually going to be dealing with water that's hotter than 100 degrees. Um, so, the whole idea with boiling point elevation is that we are altering the original boiling point of the pure solvent once we add solute particles to that. So, let's look at what's going on at the molecular level. So, on the left we have pure water. And you can see here that the boiling point happens whenever the vapor pressure of the atmosphere above the water and the vapor pressure of the liquid water become equivalent, which allows those water molecules to escape as a gas. Well, on the right-hand side, we are now taking and adding in a solute particle, and so we are altering the effects of how those water particles um, can leave that space in relationship to the vapor pressure of the area directly above it. All right, so let's look at a, a few pieces of information that are going to be important. We will also have a boiling point constant for water, or for every solvent out there, but we're mostly going to be dealing with water. Um, that has been predetermined in a laboratory setting. And so the constant for water, the boiling point constant, is 0 0.52 degrees Celsius for every molal solution that you have. Okay? All right, so here's our formula. So again, it's delta Tb this time, which is the change in the boiling temperature is equal to the boiling point constant, which is the 0 0.52, times m, which is the molal, and times n, which is the number of particles. So let's go ahead and work out a problem. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull our... Let's go ahead and pull our equation over, which is delta Tb is equal to the boiling constant of uh, the solvent times M times N. Let's look at our problem and see what information they've given us directly to work with, and let's go ahead and decide what we need to solve for first before we can actually plug information into the equation. Um, and let's go ahead and pull over Oh, I see there. There's the equation. Uh, we'll go ahead and pull over the Kb, which equals 0 0.52 degrees Celsius per molal. Okay, so we are solving for boiling point. We have a solution that's made by dissolving 125 grams of glucose into 200 grams of water. 
All right, so we've got a little bit of work to do before we can plug directly into our equation. We've got KB, we need to solve for M, and we need to determine what N is. Um, we have glucose again, so this is a covalent bond, so N will equal 1. We have 125 grams of glucose. We also have that molar mass from our last problem, so we can pull that right over. So 125 grams. And for every mole of sucrose I have, I have 180.18 grams. So that is 125 divided by 180.18 will give us 0 0.6937 moles. We're going to divide that by 0 0.200, okay, because molality is over kilograms, so I have to move my decimal place three places to the left for the water, okay? All right, so that's going to be 0 0.6937 divided by 0.2, and my M is going to equal 3.47. All right, we're ready to plug it and solve. Do you all agree? So delta TB is equal to 0 0.52 degrees Celsius per M times 3.47 M times 1. M will cancel out. Okay, so that's going to equal 1.80 degrees Celsius, but we are not done. We want to know what the boiling point is. If water boils at 100 degrees Celsius, this is changing the boiling point by 1.80 degrees Celsius. I have to take 100, that's a degree, plus, and so it's going to be 1. Hundred and one point eight zero degrees Celsius will be our new boiling point. Thank you very much.